Sorry, saving life. Crabtree, that's the result you're going to get. Don't you ever talk about me. Who was talking about you? Crabtree, don't you open your mouth about the best. Buddy, I'm going to shut it for you real quick. L.O.B. All right, before... And, Joe, back over to you. I heard Richard Sherman say L.O.B. That, of course, is a shout-out to the Legion of Boom which is Seattle's nickname for their secondary. And it seems part of the fire that Crabtree may have sparked in Sherman happened heading into the game on Thursday when he was asked straight up about Sherman's play. Richard Sherman, the best cornerback in the league? I don't think so. I don't, know none of, I don't know nothing about, you know, the best cornerbacks in the league. I just know teams, you know. And for more on the NFC Championship, let's head live to Seattle and rejoin Steve Weish once again this morning. And Steve, the obvious place to start is right there with Richard Sherman. You spoke to him after the game, and what was his mood when you spoke to him about 30 minutes later? Nicole, when I spoke to Richard Sherman, is a prime example of why the NFL and most teams give their players a good 15 to 20 minute cooling off period after the game before they allow the media into locker room. Because Sherman was composed, and he was very articulate, as he normally is, and we'll see that interview in, in just a few minutes. But to get back to the Aaron Andrews, Andrews interview, um, you know, you see how emotional he was. There were a lot of other players that, that were as emotional, and screaming like that on the field, they just weren't on live TV. And the fact that Sherman kind of made it about himself and his personal beef with Crabtree right there. Took the attention, unfortunately, off of one of the better games I've ever seen. Great plays by Doug Baldwin and Colin Kaepernick and, and Anquan Bolden. And, and, you know, so I want to take you to this video, this interview I had with him. I told you, again, he's composed and articulate, but there's a lot more to this story between him and Crabtree than Crabtree saying that Sherman wasn't the best corner in the NFL. I'll tell you about that after we hear from Sherman right here. Let's roll the tape. Well, I think it's an unbelievable opportunity. Um, and and I, I was confident in my abilities. My teammates are confident in me. And it plays like it plays like that. You know, that's when big time players step up in big time situations. And I was able to do that for my team. And Malcolm Smith was able to come up with a big interception. So it's a whole team effort. Now they only threw at you twice all game. That was the second time. Were you surprised that they came at you in a situation like that? I, I was very surprised, but I was also prepared. And that's something I worked on throughout the whole off season. Just just being you know mentally mentally staying in the game. You know, there's going to be times where you don't get tried for a long periods of time in the game. And, and last year, I, you know, I would have some lapses where, where, you know, they wouldn't try me for a freaking, you know, three quarters. In the fourth quarter, I'd give up a pass or, you know, not, not a big pass, but a slant or something like that just because I wasn't as locked in as I should be. And I told myself that I would, I would correct that this year, and I was able to – this was a total embodiment of that. Was it nice to have the, the pass come to Michael Crabtree? He said earlier this week he didn't think – you were the, the best cornerback in the NFL. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm so glad it happened like that because, uh, you know, we've had our disagreements and, uh, you know, I'm sure he's going to have to watch that film over and over and over. I'm glad I could send him to the Heartbreak Hotel. Now, speaking of Heartbreak Hotel, you're going someplace else. We're seeing something right here. <laughs> there's, there's like some broadcast news right here oh, man. about your team. What about that? Oh, man, it's, it's such a blessing. It's such a such an unbelievable opportunity for a bunch of a bunch of nobodies, a bunch of a bunch of guys who fifth rounders, sixth rounders, undrafted guys who who who've come together like a family and, and play for one another and you know you really can't you know it's a, it's a it's a it's a fairy tale story that that you really couldn't write any better. Richard Sherman, congratulations. Thank you. Now when the cameras were off, Sherman told me why he has this issue with Michael Crabtree. And again, he was offended by the fact that Crabtree said he wasn't the best corner in the NFL. We know Sherm, he takes every slight personally. But he said his beef with Crabtree goes back to last summer when he was at a charity function that Larry Fitzgerald, the Cardinals wide receiver, threw in Arizona. He said Crabtree came up to him, talked a little smack, basically saying, I'll make your life miserable for you this season, this and that. Sherman said, you know, he kind of took it as it was, you know, football talk he has with a lot of players on the NFL. But he said Crabtree kept agitating the situation. Now, it didn't get physical. Sherman said it, it didn't take it from there. But the fact that Crabtree kept going there and going there, Sherman said he decided then to make it a point that every time he played Michael Crabtree, he was going to try to make his life 
miserable. And you know this is hardly the last that we're going to hear about this. And Michael Crabtree, an excellent player, whose season, a shot at the Super Bowl, ended with Sherman making a play and then taunting him after he tried to make this play. Sherman, meanwhile, he's going to continue to escalate things because he just doesn't let stuff go. He holds a grudge. He plays with a chip on his shoulder. It's only going to add another layer to this great rivalry between the Seahawks and the 49ers. But a lot more to the situation with Sherman and Crabtree. It's going to be interesting to see how that carries on in the future.